why is it that the government is putting such a major emphasis on this national river linking program? So I think it's still in debate, only a few minor projects have been cleared, rest of it is in debate. I'm sure there will be much scientific advice and other things which will come and I'm sure they'll look at it. And also the economic cost is hu huge, what you have to invest. Above all, tropical rivers are made in such a way, this idea that the water that is flowing into the ocean is a waste, this idea must go, this is a very dangerous idea because without that water flowing there, you are disturbing the whole water cycle. The amount of monsoon that you get is directly connected to how much river water flows into the ocean. And if the river water doesn't flow into the ocean, the saline intrusion into the water is happening. For example, in Gujarat, they are losing something like 550 square kilometers per year. It is moved in almost 60 kilometers inland. So looking at the substrata of Indian uh, subcontinent, especially the peninsula, we have 7,400 kilometers of uh, coastline. If it is estimated that if this water, the river water doesn't go into, let us say it doesn't go into the ocean at all, everything we used up, then the marine water can percolate into the land up to hundred to hundred and thirty uh, kilometers. This means you will lose one third of Indian geography to marine water. That means you can't grow a thing, you can… you can We're come and… We're seeing it in the Sundarbans, isn't it? Uh, Sundarbans, yes, but you must come and see in Chuttukore in, in Gujarat, where villages have completely vacated because everywhere it's marine water, wherever you put a bore, it's marine water. Just twenty-five years ago, it was all sweet water. <laughs>